What's up, Revamp Dolls? This is your girl T back at you with another video. Janet Collection sent me some bob length hair, y'all. So it's two 14 inch bundles with a 14 inch lace closure. And I totally, totally um, love this deal because it's super, super affordable and it's in your local beauty supply store. And when you're on the go, or you don't have time to be dealing with any online orders. This is the best place to go. This is the 4x4 lace closure. As I said, it's a 14 inch and it's a natural black in color. Now, this lace closure is superb when it comes to density. If you want your lace closure to lay right, it has to be a decent density. Not too thick and not too thin. No shedding whatsoever for the lace closure, as you see. Yes, it's kind of bent because I have my package bent. As, as you see here, it's a 14 inch and the color is a natural black. Now, I'm turning these bad boys into a wig, honey. So, two bundles here will be turned will be sewn on a wig cap now their wefts are super super thin and there's so much a length within one bundle that I got to double up my tracks to put it on my unit because I, I don't have that much space on my cap so this video is not really a tutorial but a show and tell of how I made a unit with a sewing machine and I doubled my west with the sewing machine as well. So if you're not going to make a unit with your sewing machine, but you have a certain amount of west to put on a wig cap, you can sew the wefts together and fit about five bundles if you want to on one wig cap or four bundles or whatever you're trying to fit onto a wig cap. You can do it if you sew your wefts together. So I bought me a brother sewing machine from Walmart and it was super, I think it was like $78, y'all. And I went on YouTube and basically just figured out how to use it you know all you gotta learn all you got to learn how to do is thread the sewing machine and you're good to go I did go to my friend's house because she is a seamstress and got her mom to show me how to use it but girl when I left her house I forgot how to even do it so I went on YouTube to show myself how to do it and the thing is with me I am better at doing it instead of you showing me you can't show me I got to do it myself to remember so I had to go back home, go on YouTube, and put in how to thread a sewing machine, a brother sewing machine at that. And girl, there are so many videos out there. So before you pay for a $300 wig making class, girl, play around with your sewing machine. Buy a $78 sewing machine or whatever one you want to use and play with it. Um, I watched a couple of videos on YouTube on how to sew a wig or how to sew your, how to make a wig with a sewing machine and just put them all together and then just started playing and doing my own thing. So here I am sewing my wefts together. The, the wefts are way too long, I cannot fit them all in the cap. Or I'm gonna have to just like really keep them close together. And when you make a wig, you wanna make sure you space it out good enough. So what I have done here is sewed my wefts together, making them doubled. And basically, this is gonna save time and it's gonna make your cap full the way you want it. So as you see, my wefts are doubled here. And ladies, when I say everything is on YouTube, just play and practice. So the top one is singled and the bottom one is doubled. I promise you, you may not need to pay for a class if you're good at watching videos and just learning on your own. Cause that's what's happening to me right now. Like I don't have to pay for a class because literally I'm more comfortable. Now I'm, and okay, so I was trying to bob my needle because at the bottom it doesn't automatically uh, thread the bobby pin. So I had to go on YouTube, look at a couple of videos, oh actually one video, and figured out how to do it. And then went back and filled up my bobby pin or whatever. So listen y'all, it's not impossible to use a sewing machine, it's not rocket science, it's just get up Get your sewing machine and practice and play with it because you know what will suck if you pay for a $300 class or whatever how much the class costs and you're stuck trying to figure out how to even be comfortable with it. I suggest you get comfortable with the sewing machine and then if you feel like, okay, I still don't get it, I'm still not really flowing right, then pay for the class because then you'll know exactly what you need assistance with because one day is not going to give you the results you want. You want to be comfortable with the technique itself. So now I've already... Um, put my bobby pin putting it into my thingy 
and I'm going to continue to sew again. I think the Singer sewing machine, which I had purchased before, but my friend's mom was like, girl, this is high tech. Just buy you a brother sewing machine. She uses it all the time for all her clothes or whatever. And she said it does the same thing, but I think the Singer one actually automatically threads the bottom bobby pin that I had to refill. I don't really know, but I think it does. But this really works well for me as a beginner. If you're a beginner, go ahead and get you a brother. Now, what I did do is I put it on the um, zigzag stitching. So don't forget to put it on the zigzag stitching. And I believe that was number five. And yeah, y'all, I made a wig with a sewing machine. So this is my wig cap that I used. Um, and as y'all know, my Revan dolls that have been rocking me for a while, you know that I love to use this wig cap when sewing my wigs on my client's head or just having a more breathable option. This is the best kind of wig cap to use. So I am just marking where I want to lay my tracks and I'm going to start sewing my wefts onto the cap. Now it's important as you stretch, as you sew on the, as you sew the wig, God, as you sew the weft onto the wig cap, make sure you stretch it as you go to make it nice and flat. I'm putting it on the number five zigzag zag stitching pattern. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and get with the program. So now I'm sewing onto my double wefted track. And I'm going to go ahead and go all the way to the end of the wig cap. And you will see me pick it up and adjust it, trying to get back in, back aligned on the weft because I'm a beginner and I can't seem to keep my needle um, aligned to my weft. So I gotta keep stopping and readjusting each time. As I progress, I'm sure I'm gonna get the hang of it. Excuse my son in the background, he's always in my business. But um, you cut it off and there you go. That's one track on your wig cap and it's not going nowhere hunty nowhere so I'm putting my second track on my wig cap and just going with the flow and I always stop here and there y'all I'm a beginner at this and I'm stretching it as I go to make sure it's flat as I got to the top part of my wig cap I kind of stopped and went ahead and outlined my lace closure so I could go ahead and sew the rest of my tracks up top. Now this is where I struggled um, making my, this is why I struggled sewing on my tracks on my wig cap because you have to make sure it lays flat at the same time still be flush to the canvas of this blockhead. So here it's laying really nicely but this, the, the tracks that I sewed within this median here were buckling. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Obviously, I'm not stretching it out right. I'm stretching it too much. That way it buckles when you stretch it out too much. So this is my Sharpie marker. You can get it from any Walmart, whatever, whatever store. And go ahead and outline your lace closure and then finish sewing on the rest of your tracks to where you feel that you can um, use your sewing machine. I sewed the last one or two tracks with by hand just because I wasn't comfortable sewing that far up. Now the tracks that I sewed, the, tra the tracks that I sewed with my sewing machine in this area were bumpy and buckly because I stretched it too far. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand sew the three, the top three tracks just because I'm not comfortable with sewing it with the sewing machine because it did have a little buckle here and there. So now my lace closure is on, looking superb. One thing I had a problem with is this whole wig cap business like the stitch wouldn't allow me to tear off my plastic part and I hated that so I've got to figure out what I need to do different about that part I literally cut out square pieces to get it like this because I couldn't rip it off and y'all know how when you sew it by hand you can just rip that plastic thing off with ease with no problems but that's my wig y'all and I did it with a sewing machine I said dang I gotta look at the, how the lace blends with my skin already so yeah, you don't have to tint this lace at all if you are dark skin or, you know, chocolate in complexion. Those are the two, um, whatever, adjustable straps so you can make it nice and firm. So you don't have to add a band if you don't want to. This wig cap is perfect as is. So up next, I'm gonna show you how I pluck and tweeze the, um, the lace closures to make it look more natural and how I'm gonna cut it into a bob, honey. You know, just a little blunt bob. Make it look a bit stylish and full. And yeah, that's about it. So I'll see y'all 
on my next video.